ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू आई वॉज टीचिंग मेडिकल एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन गोइंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द ईयर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव suddenly at 8 o'clock in the evening i received a message from the president rotary club guntur region 315 all of you know rotary international club sends annually four to four a selected members to america on group study exchange program these four members will be headed by a rotary member the selected four members should not be the members of any rotary club and they should not be related to any rotarian also they will be selected on the basis of merit one representing education one representing agriculture one representing industry one representing commerce and business these four members will be headed by a rotarian who is again selected by the rotary international seeing that message that i am selected and that i should send my application i went to the residence of the then president of rotary international guntur who happens to be sri p Srinivasa Murthy, advocate. I met him around eight thirty in the evening, and he looked at me and just put just formal questions, and told me, "Mr. Anil Kumar, you are known to many people here. You don't need to be interviewed. You are selected. You can send your application form tomorrow." usually we send the application form then we will be interviewed later we received the letter selecting us that you are uh, selected now well this ra- appears to be rather strange selection first application next i i, I could not believe that but anyway next morning i sent my application form mind you this had happened in the year 1975 and later after some time i received another circular from the rotary international asking me to appear for an interview at hyderabad in reeds hotel i was so busy teaching these medical entrance students well uh, uh, completely engaged no time to stand and stare but yet i wanted to appear for the interview i could make it convenient and i was traveling by train to hyderabad there in the same train some i saw some youngsters also getting ready for the interview they were studying books like manorama india who is who competition master such journals they were reading because they were preparing for an interview let me be very very honest in this matter i was not at all prepared 
I have not gone through any book for the interview. I just decided to go to Hyderabad and appear for the interview. That's all. Watching this, a, a, a person asked me, Sir, would you like to read this book? Manorama, a, a, a book with full of uh, data and statistics, meant for those who are getting ready for an interview. Well, that, that I was uh, fresh into Sai Fold. I just, uh, visited Prashant Salim in the year 1972, and, in, uh, and that's the first period of entry into Sai Park. And as you know, most of Sai devotees, in the first pe early period of their entry, they go on singing Sai bhajans. In the railway compartment, I started singing Sai bhajans. Maybe that boy was preparing for examination, is disturbed with my singing, and asked me to go through book Manorama. Then I told that boy, don't worry. I know that you are all disturbed. I don't sing aloud hereafter, don't worry. You please proceed in your own way. Then another person, a senior man from the Rotary Club, who is also appearing for uh, the interview for uh, selection as the team leader. He is also known to me very well and a distant relation also. He asked me, why are you not reading any book? What preparation you made? I told him, sir, and let me be very honest with you. I have not made any preparation. I have not read any book. Still, I am appearing for the interview. That man laughed. He is quite elder to me. He laughed and laughed and said, then why do you waste your money for this travel and time? I know you are busy with medical interest classes there. Then I told him, sir, my sister constructed a house there in Hyderabad. And I could not attend their housewarming function, group provision. So at least I want to see their house on this account. At least in the name of this interview, I want to take full advantage and visit her and their house also. That is my idea. Well, he laughed wholeheartedly and said, all right, let us see. Well, it was the time I was still having my very good Raymond's woolen suit, the wedding suit which was well ironed and I wore that suit, the blue colored suit with orange color shirt and the blue tie and went to Hotel Ritz straight and appeared for the interview. Well, they were calling one after one. Those of the great people, prominent leaders of Rotary International who interviewed us happened to be past Rotary governors, Rotary governors who are all highly experienced. So we are called one after one and those who completed their interview were coming out of that hall and others who are eager to appear for the interview, they were asking me what questions they asked, what questions they asked. And they were telling, you know, they, are, they were asking questions and Aryabhatta. Aryabhatta is on the, as a satellite, I believe, launched into the space. And it seems they were asked, why India, a peace-loving country, send Aryabhatta like that? And another boy was telling, uh, they asked me about Indo-Soviet treaty. All these questions they were telling and these people were listening and also quite anxious what questions they would face when they have their turn. I did not ask anybody 
I was just listening to me, to them. In fact, I have no answer to these questions. All right, let me see. Then I was called. I went inside and sat cross-legged, highly confident, <laughs> because I had no preparation at all. And then one Rotary governor asked me, uh, Mr. Anil Kumar, where do you come from? I said, sir, I come from Guntu. I'm a, I'm a professor working in a Christian college. Then another Rotary Club president asked me another question. You are going to America now if selected and you may get certain questions and people may ask you several questions. Just relax yourself. If you know the answer, yes, you can, you can give that answer, respond. I just don't worry. Okay, sir, doesn't matter. You can ask me any question. The question put to me was this. In India, India is a largely populated country. People, people everywhere. We understand that there are many gods also. People worship so many gods in India, equal to the population. If that question is put to you, what answer you have? Then I told them, Sir, God, God is one. The forms are many. In India, people may be worshipping many forms. Same God in many forms. Oh, that man, oh, good. Well, would you explain that statement? Then immediately I said, Jewels are many. But gold is one. Flowers are many. Worship is one. Names and forms are many. God is one. Paths are many. Goal, destination is one. There may be difference in the yarn, in the yarn or the threads, but the cloth is one. Like this, I went on substantiating my statement. And that, that Rotary Governor said, well done, well done. Then another Rotary Governor, past Governor, I asked me another question. Then why one God is short, why one God is so tall in India? I could understand he meant Ganesha and Ramachandra. Then I gave the answer this way. The garments are stitched according to our measurements. The same shirt will not suit everybody. It should be stitched according to measurements. In a similar way, depending upon the samskara, the aptitude, likes and dislikes, one has got a chosen form. One has got a liking for one form. And he worships. All people do not have same choice, same likes. Therefore, depending upon samskara, the idols, the forms are different. Oh, well done. And then another Rotary governor has put me this question. If that is the case, why do you find so much of corruption in India? You speak of gods, you speak of spirituality in India. Now, if anyone asks you this question, why so much of corruption, black marketing in India? I said, most perhaps we need God to improve us and also to uh, progress in our life. You find the doctor where there are patients. Oh, I see. Another man has put me this question. How do you explain that all avatars are born in India? Why? Why not in Western countries? Then I said, 
the Western countries are after the materialism, while India is after spirituality. The West wanted progress in Padartha Jnana, in the material wealth, whereas India is after Paradha Jnana, the spiritual wealth. You find gold in collar mines, not elsewhere. In a similar way, the saints and seers, aspirants in this country, pray to God, and therefore this land has become a land of spirituality, full of wealth of scriptures like epics, mythology, Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, so on and so forth. Oh, I see. Good. Then another man asked me why there are no divorces in India. Should you live with the same person throughout your life? Then I gave him the answer. There are no divorces in India, no divorces at all. The reason is, of course, there the least number I can say. The reason is this. Marriage is an institution in India that takes you from one shore of the river to the other shore. This that river is family life. This shore of the river is this world on earth. The entire river is family life. The other shore is of destination, life after death. So it is a travel from Aihika, life on earth, to Amushmika, life beyond. It is the one that takes us along the path of four objectives of life, Dharma, Ardha, Kama, Moksha. Marriage is not simply for marriage's sake. It has got higher goals. Therefore, there are no divorces in India. Then another question was posed to me. Why don't you eat beef in India? We don't eat beef in India because cows are revered, sacred. Cow is considered as mata, go mata. Yes. And the four feet are considered as four Vedas. The cow stands for sacrifice. It partakes grass and yields us the milk. It stands for sattvic quality or piousness. And such a cow worshipped in India cannot be killed and eaten. Therefore, beef is not accepted in India. Like these questions were posed to me, I answered and returned. Now I must open the Pandora's box, my friend. How the answers I could give to the questions posed to me are all from Sai literature only. From the teachings of Bhagwan Sri Sat Sai Baba only. How is it others are asked questions on politics, the science, other developments, but all questions put to me are from from the literature, or from uh, uh, from the field of religion, as I was familiar with such Sai literature, well, I could answer them all. All answers from Sai literature and teachings only. Why has it happened? How has it happened? Then I had to conclude that it was Bhagwan's mercy, that Bhagwan Baba's will, that made them put these questions. I forgot to mention one thing. The Rotary Governor's one gentleman at the end asked me this question. Who is the governor of, I mean, sorry, who is the president of Israel? See that. All the questions were based on religion and spirituality. How is that they put this question at the end? I said, I don't remember, sir. One gentleman was the president till recently. Now when a lady is in his position, she is Golda Mayor. That's what I said. They said, 50% answered, you may go now. That's the end of the story of the whole of the interview I faced. 
for selection as a member of group study exchange program on behalf of Rotary International Region 315 to visit the state of Indiana in the United States of America. Well, I returned home. Thank Bhagwan Baba within myself, Swami. You saved my prestige. Had they asked me some questions on politics or who, what is the capital of Denmark, what is the capital of Turkey, such questions, well, I, I cannot answer. Because I have not prepared anything at all. But how is that, that you made them ask questions? And I could answer them because they are all from your discourses and literature. Thus I thank Swami immensely. Then, after some time, after 15 days or 20 days or so, some of the people asked me to inquire what happened to the result. I said, I am not prepared to inquire. Why? Because I have not made any preparation. If I am not selected, well and good. If I am selected, the credit goes to Bhagwan Sri Satsai Baba and not to me. Believe me, my friends, on my word of honor, I am telling you, all newspapers brought with this small bulletin saying, publishing all our names. Among the selected people, I stood first. It is Baba's selection. Well, how I selected, I told you, it is purely Bhagavan's grace. There in southern Indiana, I visited several places like Terra Haute, Indiana, Aurora, Indiana, Bloomington, Indiana, Corridon, Indiana, so many places. We went around the whole state. And the fellow members who were quite youngsters, while well, they wanted to see sightseeing in America, they went round. But my business is to introduce everybody to Bhagwan Sri Satsai Baba in letter and spirit. Well, I addressed one or two rotary meetings there, and while others felt, Mr. Anil Kumar, all members said, hereafter you will be you alone will be speaking at every meeting. So I started speaking on different topics all over the state. One day while I was going in a car, I was singing Sai Bhajan. And the, that man who was driving the car happened to be a white man, American. He was very much surprised. Mr. what are you doing? He might have thought I was almost collapsing because I was having only a vegetarian diet completely. As there is no rice available, I had to eat some nuts, biscuits, ice cream like that. I told him, sir, I am not collapsing. I am singing Indian bhajans in praise of God. He said, would you do, do me, would you do the same thing at my residence? I said, I will, provided you invite all Rotarian families also, so that they would be happy to listen to these hymns or bhajan songs. Why not? He jumped in joy. Please believe me, the Rotary Club meetings were attended by about 20 to 30 members, whereas evening gathers, evening gatherings, where I spoke on Baba and sang bhajans, they were all attended by 200, 100 to 200 people every day. And the newspapers published, here is the man who is sponsored by Rotary Club. But he says, his Satsai Baba selected me, selected him to go over here. With my photograph, they are published. Their description, American description, was also typical. A man with the hair parted at the center, sits cross-legged quite often, wearing beach sandals, speaks more of philosophy than botany, his field of specialization. Like that, I was interviewed on TV. The journalists also published in newspapers. Why I'm telling you is, Baba's ways are mysterious. They are very strange. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
this the wonderful experience i had in the year 1975 which i wanted to share with the members of our prashanti sandesh group i gave you just salient points though there are several other points associated with my trip to united states for the first time in 1975 thank you for your time